When visualizing your metrics in CoreLogix, there's a really, really nice tool called DataMap. DataMap can be reached uh, via Explore and down to DataMap in here. So when you're working in Kubernetes, often you have to group metrics together and visualize them because there's just so much going on. And I just want to show an example of that because it's really cool. So I'll hit, I'll hit Add Group here and we're going to pick a metric. Um, so I'll say um, CPU utilization is probably a pretty good one. Uh, Kate's pod CPU utilization, container CPU utilization. We'll do the uh, we'll do the container CPU utilization. Why not? And we'll hit generate groups. This will automatically uh, create um, a series of groups for me. These are all the different labels that are on the metric, actually. And you'll notice here that it's kind of just picked a few. So we have region, account, and cloud ID. Not really particularly useful for us. So we can actually reorder these. So for example, let's do namespace to start with. As soon as I do namespace, I get something that looks a bit more uh, typical of what one would find in a, in a kind of Kubernetes uh, visualization strategy. And then I'll do deployment name because that's kind of the human name that we've given to that particular application. And region doesn't make much sense at this level, but we could say, for example, the container name. That's pretty good. All we could do, is there a pod name in there? That might be more appropriate, actually. We'll do that. So now we've got a breakdown of namespace, uh, deployment as in the human name and then the actual individual pods now this is kind of cool because it gives us immediately we get this really nice view of like okay this is everything that's going on in the cluster right now this is cool these are all our metrics these are all of our different views that's nice but we can probably do more so if we open up the pod name what we can do is we can get coloring thresholds which is really nice so I can say for example give me the average CPU utilization uh, there's a bunch of different options there you can have as well but we'll just pick average um, and we'll say, you know, zero or above is fine. 0 0.1 or above is, so we're using 10% of the cluster. It's, it's busy, shall we say. Uh, 0.3 is it's starting to get hot and we'll do 0 0.8, for example. And now if we apply this, all of a sudden we have coloring. That's a power, so powerful, this is at a glance visualization. So from here I can see most of my pods are doing very little except the cart service. The cart service is quite busy. And we can see based on our things, it's using between 0 0.1 and 0 0.3, um, uh, 0 0.1 and 0.3% uh, of its core of its, its sort of CPU utilization. That's really, really nice. So this is super, super powerful. It enables um, kind of at a glance visualization of metrics. Um, and this is super configurable, right? So we can change this to be uh, anything we want. We could um, uh, include daemon sets in here if we want, and we can save this. And the really nice thing about this, I think, is because um, it's, it's this at a glance power that's gonna give you that really top down view of your Kubernetes cluster and help you understand exactly what's going on. This is just a really nice example of how to get the best uh, out of the CoreLogix platform when you're using Kubernetes. I love this. I think it's something that most people uh, might not know about or they might use it for different use cases, but for the tracking uh, pods uh, in a Kubernetes cluster, this is perfect. Remember, you can pick different metrics or you can even combine them with recording rules, generate metrics that have like an overall score, for example, of the health of the pod and use this to manage, manage that. There's loads and loads of different options available to you here. So definitely one not to miss uh, and make sure that you're engaging with this because this, all of these different ways, all of these different tools that we're talking about in this tutorial are, ve are various different angles that enable you to get the most insight generation possible while using the CoreLogix platform. And remember, we do not charge by service, we do not charge for usage or anything like that. We charge by data. So as soon as you've ingested the data, you only gain benefit from using as many of the features as possible.